All right, guys, I told you I was going to come in and read you these spelling words. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to click here for my spelling pages. I already did it so that it would go quicker. All right, so here are the words. Perform. If you perform something, you do it in front of people. I like a performance, right? You do you do it in front of people or so people can see you. Maybe act gentler. Right? The word would be gentle. I could be gentler. I'm more gentle. The gentle list would be the superlative, right? The, that's as gentle as you could be. The gentlest. My next word, scissors, right? It's plural with the S on there. But I don't say scissor. I call them scissors because they come with two knives, like just tacked together or something. All right, founder. A founder is a person who starts something. The founder of McDonald's is the person who started McDonald's. The director is kind of like the boss, the person who's in charge, maybe the person who tells you what to do. In movies, the director is a job, right? He directs the actors and the people that are doing the lighting and the sets and tells them what to do. Danger, right? If you're in danger, you're in trouble. There's something wrong. You got to watch out. Saucer. A saucer is like a little plate. I usually put it under a cup, like a teacup or coffee cup. I put a saucer under it. It's a small plate. Sometimes you'll hear, like, we put milk on the, for the cat on the saucer plate. Because the saucer plate has a little circle in the middle of it that you can put the cup inside of it. So that's a saucer, why it's different than a plate. Labor is just another word, a synonym for work. If you labor, you work. Margin is the edge of something. The margin of it is the edge of it, right? I say the margin of your page. We go to the edge of the page. Error is you made a mistake. An error is wrong. You, you had a problem. You didn't do it correctly. A crater is like a big hole, right? Like a, the meteor hit the earth and it caused a crater. On the earth, the, the, the earth, the earth has four craters, but the moon has craters on it. They think that Maybe it was hit by meteors or something, and it caused a big hole in it. A pillar is like a big, round thing. You could have a pillar of fire, even. Big, round. Usually, I think of pillars around buildings. They're big, round, that hold up the building. They're big, round pieces of material that hold up the building. Splendor is great. In your splendor, you're just all dressed up. You're fancy. You're looking nice. Peddler is someone who sells something. There was a story of the peddler's hats monkey that I think that's the name of the book, right? You sell something, you're a peddler. A professor is a teacher, but it's in college, right? You are a college professor, you're, you're a teacher. That's another word for teacher, but a little more advanced teacher. I am not a professor. My grandmother was actually a professor though. She taught Spanish in college, so she was a professor. Shatter is when something breaks really bad, like your phone, when you drop it and it has all those cracks on it, that's when something shatters. Glass shatters when it breaks. Oop, next word. Governor is a person in charge of a, of a state. He's the governor of the state. Sometimes we have governors in charge of businesses and stuff too, but the governor is the person in the state. The, not the president, because the president is of all this our, of our states. He rules a state. The mayor is one of the city. Um, vapor is gas, like water vapor. When it turns into gas, when it's moving real, um, when the molecules are moving so fast that you can separate and they start floating up in the air is your vapor. Equator, um, I use it for my earth, right? The equator is the middle of the earth. It's the separator right there. Fonder, right? If I am fond of you, I like you. I, you could be more fond, you could be fonder of one person than you are of another person, right? The fondest is the most fond person that you like the most. But if you're fond of someone, you really like them. You're fonder, you like them even more. Ter terrible, right? Fonder, when I had ER on words, I compare two things. When I do EST on the end of words, it's the very most. Some words, I can't add ER or EST on it, so I say more, or I say most. Terrible, really bad, not good. Legal has to do with the law. If something is legal, it is it is fine with the law. 
These are our bonus words. There's 20 words and then five bonus. Journal, where you would just write something down. You could keep track of something. You journal it. It could be a verb or a noun. <clears throat> right? I could journal something. It means I'm writing it down and keeping track of it. Or I have a journal, a book, where I write down things in there. Refrigerator. Hopefully you all have one. Right? There's a joke. You call someone up and ask them, Hey, is your refrigerator running? Right? It means is your refrigerator working? And they're all, yeah, why? And they're all, because I just saw it run down the street. Better go catch it. Anyways, silly joke. Next one, remainder, is leftover, right? In math, we talk about a remainder. When I'm dividing and I have leftovers, I have some left. I call it my remainder. Right, this isn't one where it's more. It's more remained than the other. No, it's, it's a different ER on the end of that one. All right, and so next, oh, and these spelling all had the pattern in it with the R, the controlled vowel sound syllables where the R. So I'm looking at these, what the or, er, or, er, right? I'm trying to see what the sound is that it's making R. Sometimes it makes R sound. So, all right, and my next words. All right, these are all going to end in E-L or E-N. So a slogan, I can spell it differently, but it's going to sound with the same. I call this upside down e schwa. So slogan, a slogan is <clears throat> something that reminds me of something, right? We talked about that. McDonald's has a slogan. Oh, what was it again, Caleb? I forgot. Uh, I know that da 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 da. Um, Nike has a slogan, right? Just do it. So a slogan, businesses use slogans. My next word, woolen. If something is made out of wool, it is woolen, right? I make different material out of different things. One thing I make it out is out of the fur of a sheep. That's what I call wool. When I take the fur of a sheep and turn it into um, a fabric kind of thing, I call it wool. It's very, very warm. So if you have a wool sweater, they're super warm. If something is woolen, it's made out of wool. What a cool word, huh, wool. Anyway. Um, we have also cotton, right? I can make shirts out of cotton. Cotton comes from a plant. I take the cotton, it, it's a little flower that opens up and inside is real kind of fluffy. The flower on the outside of it is super pokey, so trying to get the, the um, cotton out of the cotton plant is hard. All right, my next word, listen. If I listen to something, I use my ears, I hear it. A heron. I think that's how you pronounce it, is a bird, a heron, a heron, no, it's not heron, it's a heron. Let's see. So hopefully you can see my screen, um, a heron. Heron. So there's my schwa upside down E sound, right? This is how I pronounce it. It's a large fish-eating wading bird with long legs, a long S-shaped neck, and a long pointed bill. I had to look it up. Is this the same bird that delivers babies? No, that's the stork. It looks a little different. But here is a heron. Some pictures of them. They are coastal or freshwater. I see them here at the beach all the time. I think they're pretty, but I've heard people be like, oh, that bird's ugly, but I think they're kind of pretty. They're kind of funky looking, huh? Anyway, they can be freshwater or um, saltwater. I see this picture here. Look at this. He's carrying an eel, right? An eel is like a water kind of snake. Wow. So that is a heron. I should have known not to pronounce it heron because I could see the N, right? I already told you that's what all these words ending sound is, N. Frighten. You're scared. If you have fright or you scare someone, you're frightened. You frighten them. You scare them. Lengthen makes longer, right? If I make so if I lengthen something, I make it longer than it was before. You can even lengthen your neck out, stretch your neck, sit up straight. Captain, another person who is in charge. And I had to go look this one up. A captain is in charge of a ship. He's the person in command of a ship. A ship, it also says here, a ship, an aircraft, which a plane, right, the, the captain of the airplane, or a sports team. If you play sports, the person who's in charge of the sports team, the one who gives the commands and tells you what to do, could also be called the captain of the team. So after captain, we have mountain, 
right? I'm pronouncing them in and and still, even though it's A-I-N now spelled. In one of your assignments, you have to figure out which words are spelled which. A mountain. I had to look this up for the real definition, too. Um, we all know what a mountain is, so I was just going to kind of rush through it. But a mountain is a natural elevation. If something's elevated, it's taller. It goes up high, like the elevator, right? Of, that's where that word comes from, of the earth's surface rising abruptly from the surrounding level, right? Abruptly means all of a sudden it's there. If something's abrupt, people can sometimes speak abruptly, like you're talking to them, they're up, interrupt you. So if you're abrupt, it just happens all of a sudden. So it's abruptly from the surrounding level, a large, steep hill. A sandal, right? A shoe, it's another one I know that what it is but I just wanted to look up the definition it's a light shoe either of either an open upper work open work upper or straps attaching to the sole of the feet right they're open shoes that are light and they usually have straps that attach it to the feet my next one signal a signal is a sign right Another one I wanted to look up. So, right, I could signal you by giving you a gesture, a move some way that lets you know something, right? Um, the firing of a gun was the signal for the chain of beacons to be lit. Right? Sometimes we fire a gun for the race to start. It's the signal that lets the race start. Um, I also, your electrical signals, right? Your Wi-Fi, it's a, a signal that's received, some machine you have, um, receiver at your house is receiving a signal My next word, global. When I talk about the planet, I say, right, global. It's the big globe there. I like this, the definition here, again, in the dictionary. Relating to the whole world. If it's global, right, we talk about global warming. The whole world is what they're trying to say. My next word is bushel. When I put stuff in like a all together, I call it a bushel, like with corn or wheat or something. When I put it all together, it is this one bushel. I definitely was looking up. So a bushel, it says the way we measure a capacity equal to 64 U.S. pints used for dry food. So I put my dry foods, my corn, my wheat into bushels, and it is a way to measure them also. You know, we love math and measuring stuff. So it says here, a bushel is a unit of volume that is used for measuring agricultural produce, such as corn and beans. So a bushel is equivalent to eight gallons dry, right? Normally I do gallons with the liquid stuff. So um, here, what what is a bushel of corn? A bushel of dry corn is about 56 pounds, how much it weighs. I'm going to show you some pictures of bushels too. Here's a bushel of apples. All right, I put them all together. There's my bushel of corn bushel of beans. Oh, I always picture the bushels all wrapped up together. Let's see if I can find Alright, so I was wrong. Yay! I love it when I learn something new. So a bushel is not when they're tied together. It's just the weight of them, how I measure them. I do apples in a bushel. Oh, where'd my bushel of corn go? I just saw it. Um, oh, there it is. So you can see the bushel of corn. They don't wrap it up. They just put it like that. And I love this little saying. It's like a little song, right? I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a hug around your neck, a hug around your neck. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know the rest of the words, but that's All right, so we got our bushel. Marvel. If, if you marvel at something, you're like, wow, that's amazing, right? Like the Marvel comics were like, whoa. A barrel. Oh, we were just looking at barrels. It's the wooden container I put things in. I had to do this one. So here, there's other names for a cask, a keg, a butt, a vat, a ton, a tub, a drum, a tank, a firkin. So these are what barrels look like. I always, we have a barrel full of monkeys, right? There are these kinds of ones. Oh, there is also a barrel on a gun. Um, the barrel of the gun is where you put the bullets in it. Oh, no, it's not. It's where the bullets shoot out of. It's the long, round part that looks like a barrel of wood there. So the other thing of a barrel I can do is, well, I'm not going to do it, but people have done it. 
right? This is a big popular thing a long time ago to take a barrel, get inside of it, and go down Niagara Falls. Look, I guess when you go to visit Niagara Falls, you can get your picture taken in a barrel going down Niagara Falls. But it was a real thing. People did that. I don't know what they did that for. I would never do that. My next word is practical. If something is practical, it makes sense. It's something that you think is right. It, it's easy. It, it's simple. Although the definition in the dictionary isn't a super easy one. But you can see, again, this schwa sound there for the ol. Um, of or concerned with the actual doing or use of something rather than theory or ideas. So if you're being practical, it's really something that you can really do, right? Someone would be all, let's go do this like crazy thing like on Phineas and Ferb and you'd be all, no, let's be more practical. We can't really build a um, roller coaster in our backyard. So um, likely to succeed or be effective in real circumstances. It's feasible. It's something that can actually happen. My next word is pretzel. Sorry, I just remembered something. I'm like, oh, because someone asked me about fable today. Sorry, and I... So pretzel, right, you can make the shape of a pretzel to just twist and turn. Oh, I had to look it up. The real definition of pretzel means twist, bend, or contort as a verb. As a noun, it's a crisp biscuit baked in the form of a knot or a stick and flavored with salt. Our next word is fable. A fable is a story. I know I had the definition of fable up there. I put it up in your assignment when we had to read the fable. A short story, typically with animals as characters, conveying a moral, right? There's a lesson to a story with a pair, with a fable. Some other kinds are parables, apolo apologues, apologues, allegories, and bestiaries. So different ones. To, not, not the same. They're similar. Chuckle. Another one. It's like a low laugh if you chuckle. Ha, 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 ha. It's not a laugh laugh. Ha, 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 ha. ha, ha. It's kind of an under laugh. An angle is a point where two lines come together and they meet. They form an angle. The nozzle is on where my water comes out of or something comes out of. The nozzle is the point where it's went up for you too. A cylindrical, right? If it's cylinder, cylindrical, it's round. Or round spout at the end of a pipe, a hose, or a tube to control a jet of gas or liquid. So let's look at some pictures of nozzles, right? You have them on the gas tank has a nozzle. It's just this little part on it where the stuff comes out of whatever you're using to get it out of there. Whatever you're trying to get out. Of. Here are some more. Here are some review words. So I'm gonna look these ones up for sure because we already tied and did. A definition of them but maybe it wasn't great one so I'm gonna look these ones up especially scissors because I know what they are it's just hard to explain so here are my scissors right came up with a picture you know what they look like scissors scissors is a re weird word to spell it has SC like science I actually spelled it wrong the first time I typed it in SCI two S's and another ORS so there's four S's in scissors. It's an instrument used for cutting cloth, paper, and other thin material, consisting of two blades, right? There's two blades, so I, it's a plural there. Laid one on top of the other and fastened in the middle so as to allow them to be opened and closed by a thumb and finger inserted through rings on the end of their handles, right? I love looking up definitions. But this one, they didn't do, they have the schwa there too, see it? E-R. It's just not separate like so our next word is pillar, right? So here are what I was trying to tell you guys, right? They're called a tall vertical structure of stone, wood, or metal used as a support for a building or as an ornament, right? An ornament doesn't do anything. It's just for looks or a monument. So these are pillars. But I can also have a pillar of smoke, right? The way it comes up. Pillars of, I've heard of pillars of fire too, but pillar of smoke would be make more sense. So there's our next word, pillar. Our next word was governor. I did this one too, governor. An elect, the elected executive head of, this, of a state of the U.S. And I guess it could be also in other heads of state. The head of the public institution in another country, in, in Britain, in England. 
But here in the United States, it's the head of the state is the governor of the state. And as Californian, we all right, we got to look up our governor. It is Gavin Newsom. We see him on the news all the time right now, right? This is what he looks like, Governor Newsom. And we ha used to have Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Now we have, we had a couple of different ones too. So I had to look up dungeon for you guys too, right? Because that's a fun one. Dungeon. What's the real definition of a dungeon? A strong underground prison cell, especially in a cast in a castle. So if you, but you could also you could imprison someone in a dungeon. Sometimes I use this word when idioms. I'm all, oh, it was like a dungeon or similes, metaphors. It's like a dungeon. It was a dungeon in there, right? Here's some fun pictures of dungeons. Our last word is salmon. So a salmon is a fish. So kind of a, a another funky word because you don't really say the L. I don't say salmon. So it's a salmon, but I still have that schwa sound at the end, the uh, N. So it's a large edible fish that is popular, that is a popular game fish, right? If it's a game fish, I like to go fishing for it. It's like a game to go fishing. Much prized for its pink flesh. So if you've had salmon, it looks like this. It's kind of pink. Um, they So the cool thing about salmon is they mature in the sea, in the ocean, but they migrate to freshwater streams to spawn, to have their babies. I was trying to find a picture of them swimming upstream, but you can see them right here. Look, they're swimming towards the ocean. And you can see he's jump this bear was waiting for him. He's jumping right in his mouth. So here's more salmon and pictures of salmon. Do this one too. I don't know if you've ever heard of caviar. It's a real expensive kind of food, but this is salmon caviar. It's fish eggs. The eggs from a fish. Right? If they don't turn into babies, they have fish eggs. So I tried to find a picture. It was a gif. So you could see him. Oh, there he goes. There's another one with the bear. Oh, this one's a funny one. It's a Taco Bell one. Um, so this salmon really do. People go fishing for them when they start doing this. They go up, up. I was trying to find a video, but I just found images. I can see videos right there. So you can see what they look like when they're swimming upstream. And the bears get very excited. And people get excited, too. They start coming to hunt them. Let's see, though. I did see right All right, here's kind of a funny video. Right. I don't know. All right, so those are these words, vocabulary words here. And if I keep going down here, right, you're going to fill them in, and you're going to fill them in. Some of you guys have watched this whole video, and you're like, oh, my goodness. So this is what I'm going to do for you guys that watch the video. I'm going to help you with this right here. So oh, why can't I enter the words on here? I'm going to. All right. Well, I couldn't type them up for you, so I'm going to put them here. So worldwide, the word would be global. If something is global, it is worldwide. A motto is another word for a slogan. You have your motto, it's something you say all the time, or you have a slogan, something you say, something that would remind someone of you. Usually, we, we use it a lot when for advertising. A tale is a story, right? A fable is a story about animals. A tale is a story, it could be about, it doesn't have to be about animals. Fables usually are. To scare someone is to frighten them. To laugh is to chuckle. A spout on your water is also the same as a nozzle. To extend is when you lengthen something, you make it longer. If something is useful, it's also practical. Something I can do, something that's easy. Here are my spelling words that are going to complete my sentences. A large salty pretzel makes a tasty snack. I lost a leather sandal on the beach. The captain of the ship welcomed us, welcomed us aboard. Do you know how much a bushel of apples cost? The city put up a new traffic light. A tra blah, 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 sorry, the city put up a new traffic signal near the school. A thick woolen hat will keep your head warm. The gardener collects rainwater in a barrel.
right? I, I'd probably do a barrel of apples, but I, I could, some of the words I can put in multiple places, but nothing else. I couldn't collect a bushel of water, of rainwater. So I spotted a heron flying above the marsh. A marsh is like a place where there's water and swampy grass and plants. We climbed to the peak of the highest mountain, listened to the birds singing in the trees. The angle of the sun told us it was late afternoon, right? The way that sun makes its angle, right? It's still, I know I said because it's a line, but right, I can connect things, the angle where the sun is, and call that my angle. I marvel at how quickly my new nephew, my nephew has grown, right? You marvel, you're like, whoa, amazing. All right. 